Life is hard. Feelings are tough. Betrayal of a mother is a bond that cannot be retrieved. Especially, expectation of completion. School is the only way. But time is not by my side. I need to start now. I have a mind and a dream, but it isn't as easy as it seems. My name is Watashra Motri, and this is my story. It all started when I was about eight. I witnessed the, uh, I witnessed the separation of my parents. I witnessed the separation of my parents. While my dad was away, my mom had brung people, brung a person into my house. I seen him come in and out, I seen him leave. I seen him sleep on my dad's side of bed. My dad was away. I remember a time when my dad was at work and my mom, we couldn't, me and my siblings couldn't find my mom. We were hungry and we were looking for food. So my dad came home from work and we told him that we couldn't get in contact with her. So I rolled my dad to look for my mom. We found her at another man's house. That is when I realized my mom cheated on my dad. But I didn't feel as though she cheated on just my dad. I feel like she cheated on our family. I feel like she cheated on her own children. Me being young, and feeling betrayed and confused, I chose the side. I chose my dad. I love my dad. After everything happened, after they argued, my dad, he stayed calm, pretty much. It was surprising because I felt as though if it was me, I would have been upset, I would have been Rage, I would have had rage, I would have been angry, but he didn't do that. He let it be, and he accepted it. So after he got kicked out the house, my mom started abusing me. She beat me with a cord and told me, and she didn't tell me, she said, I was too big to be with anything else but a cord, but I was 10 at the time. So I spent the night over my dad's house. Since I was, my complexion was yellow and I was really bright, I had whelps on my body and my dad asked me where I got them from and I told him where it came from. He told me I was never gonna go back there again. But eventually he got into a motorcycle accident and he wound up in the hospital and I had to go back to my mom. I remember a specific time when I was at school, I got in trouble and they contacted her. And when I got home, I got beat with a court. She told me that I was stupid. I told her that I was not stupid. She told me I am what she said I am. I told my dad that after he got out the hospital, after he got custody over me again, he said, we're gonna show people that I'm better than what she and what anybody else think of me. Now I'm going to pass all expectations. I'm gonna show people that I am better than what I was perceived as. So at the time, before I got with my dad, I was in middle school, I was bad. I was considered as a problem child. I was a disruption in class, class clown got bad grades. After my dad told me that he wanted me to do better, he wanted me to show people that I can do better, I did better. I had to change, I had to change myself though. I changed the way I act, I stayed quiet, I only spoke when I was spoken to, I got good grades, I was always respectful and 
I showed people, but I felt as though it was too late at that school because they already considered me as a problem child. But after I graduated, I graduated with mediocre grades though. But my dad was still proud of me because that was the best semester I had at the whole time I was at that school. But after I got to my high school, I felt like that was better, it was more and new opportunities. And the school that I attend to now is Boys Latin. The faculty and staff is great. I feel like I'm believing in. I feel like I'm exceeding expectations. I feel like my perception is better than what it was and that I'm doing much better. And I feel as though I'm making many people proud and that I'm doing way better than what I did. Thank you.